Hello and welcome back to our Final Fantasy X HD Platinum walkthrough. Here we are, at the bottom of the gorge, heading into the Chamber of the Stolen Faith. Where are we? The Chamber of the, the Stolen Faith. Inside. Yes. As are the fiends. So Lulu knows what's going on here. Hey. <gasps> Gasp. Hmm. Where? Where? What? Where what? The summoner I guarded on my first pilgrimage died here. Okay. There's our little bit of backstory for this area. Yuna, let's go. Not the a cavern awaits. to be taken lightly, it would seem. Mm. Considering how weak Lulu was at the start of the game. Kind of been up to much cop when she got here, throwing out fire for like 40 damage. No, I don't think so. So we should be fine, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, be, we'll be all right. So here we are, Chamber of the Stone of Faith. There are a few things to be aware of here. Uh, the first one is that if you encounter a ghost at any point, oh look, here's one. Make sure that you use Lancet and learn the Doom Overdrive because it will make the boss of this area extremely easy. There we go. Learn Doom. Then kill or capture the ghost as you see fit. They're kinda rare. Uh, I believe I saw about three before I got the boss. So you should have plenty of time. Uh, these enemies are your very basic lizard enemies. I'm not gonna bother showing you how to beat them because it's very basic. Often this little detour is a chest. The Mega Elixir. That's nice. Now this is a magic pot. As you can see, it's got a bunch of eyes. You can pick any eye randomly and attack it. It will respond either by giving you a ton of AP or by self-destructing. If it self-destructs, there is a very good chance that this could happen. Be aware of that. So that's the only game over I'm probably going to show you guys, but... It can happen. If you really want to fight those guys, I suggest you summon an Aeon, and then attack an Eye. Take your chances that way. Otherwise, just flee from them. The safest option is to just flee. So, picking up where we left off. There's the Mega Elixir again. Safe as houses. Don't worry about it. Now, here's a Tonberry. Interesting enemy. And very rare in this cave. So I do recommend you capture him now so you're not wandering around looking for Tomberries later. So it takes time to capture him. Now, you're supposed to wait until he's walked towards you four times. And then he should stop using a move called Karma. Now you'll see Karma. I'll use it now as a counter. Karma does damage based on how many enemies the character it's hitting has killed. So you see it did 1600 damage to Titus. It's going to be far less to Kamari because he never kills anyone because he's rubbish. 500 damage. You see? So anyway. Fight him as you like. Anyway, they're, they're, they're not dangerous, but I mean, Karma can do a lot of damage to someone like Lulu who kills everything. There we go. We captured him. I'm not saying you have to capture him, but it might be a good idea. So now moving northward through the cave. For a little cutscene. Riku, of course, is scared of everything. What's a faith doing in a place like this? Interesting question. Don't ask me. All right. They say it was stolen from a temple long ago. Huh? With no faith, summoners cannot train. Without training, they cannot call the final Aeon. Without right. the final Aeon... They cannot defeat sin. At the same time, this is an optional area that and is an optional why. Aeon. So, you can completely skip die. this and still beat the game. Mm. That must be what the thief was thinking. So, stealing the faith made no difference. Uh, I will note, getting I this Aeon, I probably that. should have mentioned this sooner relies on you having at least 
250,000 gil. If you don't have that, you may be in trouble. You can see we got a little bit more than that, so we're okay. If you don't have it, you can always come back later. There's nothing up there. Well, yeah, nothing up there. Don't worry about it. Here's another magic pot. And just to show what you should do when you encounter these guys. Come out and fight like a man! Free. Free. It's a little bit safer. Like I said, if you really want the AP, you could summon an AM. I don't think it's worth the time. If you have about 4,000 hit points, you could just hit them and survive. It's your call. Here's another chest. The Fortune Sphere. Fortune Spheres, of course, are rare, but Luck Spheres, or Luck Nodes on the circuit are even rarer. Eventually, we will probably be using a lot of them. Right here, I'm going to give Orin some luck, just because I can. I had that Luck Sphere for ages. Decided to use it. His luck is improved by four. Uh, luck is useful in a way. Uh, you can completely replace, I think, Evasion with it. Oh, we'll go through it all later once we're actually dealing with these things. So we're gonna... Magic plus four. MP. Yeah, fine. Moving Lulu on. Yeah. So the sphere grid right now is kind of straightforward. But pretty soon we're gonna be coming up to a bunch of level three locks. And level three key spheres are really quite rare to get. There's an enemy in the area after the next area that can drop them as a rare drop. So if you want to hang about and wait and hope, you can. I tried it, and after about an hour of grinding, I only got two level 3 keys for it. So, it's up to you. Uh, we'll be hitting the end of everybody's sphere grid fairly soon as well. And everybody's sphere grid ends with a level 3 lock that leads into another sphere grid. But we do have teleport spheres, friend spheres, return spheres, sort of things that can get us out of that. And use a black magic sphere to pick up some spells for Lulu, Demi. Uh, guess I'm not going to bother. We picked up Demi anyway, because <clears throat> it is part of her grid. use Yuna to heal outside the battle. There's a severe uh, a save point just ahead anyway, so it's not major, but better safe than sorry, as always. Directly ahead is a treasure chest, and directly to our left is Albert Primer number 25. So I was like, wait a minute, I gotta get that Albert Primer. Here's a battle. Never mind! Here's Albert Primer number 25. 24, of course, we have not picked up but it is back a ways in Ramian Temple, and we will be getting it in the post game. So don't worry. Pat, another Guado fiend? No, well, an unsent. Kamari knows somehow. There we go. Same hair things as Belgamir. It is. It's you, is it not, Lady Ginnam? Oh my. Forgive me. I was too young. It was six months ago. Ah, never mind. Never mind, Dad. She, you know, she's grieving. It's not her fault. But they got all the way here. I mean, they have to do all the other things. Surely. Oh no! She's doing something. She doesn't want to get sent. There is no human. I guess she's a fiend left now. in you now, is there? Something. A fiend. Very well then. Allow me to perform my last duty to you. My last as your guardian. So now we gotta rough her up a little. So we can send her. You know how it is. But clearly she's not entirely mindless because she's able to summon an AI. This is the AI we're here to get. Uh, his name is Yojimbo. He's 
samurai. And we will almost never use it. For reasons I will explain shortly. There. You know, whale on him, whatever. Important thing to do is use Kamari's overdrive. Use that doom that we just learned here in the cave. And that inflicts the doom status on your Jimbo. For some reason he's not immune to it. Now what that does is put a five turn countdown on him, at the end of which he will simply die. This means we don't really have to worry about anything he can do. So I'm just going to use guard, we want to get some AP, whatever. Uh, you could cast haste on him if you wanted to speed this up even more. You know, just get everybody in. There's no AP in this fight actually, I should make that clear. I'm just wasting time. Uh, yeah. So all you have to do is survive five turns. He won't get his overdrive. He'll just drop dead. No problem. If he didn't get Doom, I don't even know. He's a very easy boss, but I have never even looked into how to beat him without Doom. So let me let me tell you right now how much health he has. Or it's here somewhere. Hmm. You see, just keep tipping away. Even if, like, you'll see, his attacks aren't doing a ton of damage. So I wouldn't be too worried about him. Yeah. Even the guide doesn't list his health. It's just. Not that big of a deal. I doubt you'll have any trouble with it. I'll go to the beastery section and have a look at that. I see he's dead from Doom. That was easy. Yo Jimbo, he has... 33,000 health. You can overkill him with 4,060 damage. So there's no AP rewards, so I wouldn't worry about the overkill. I, I don't think he drops anything somehow. either. We'll see in a second. Maybe I've gotten used to farewells. But whatever. You're stronger now. Yeah. You've done most of your sphere good. Welcome. You're pretty tough now. You're good. I hope you're right. We could probably take on the whole end game with you now, not the post game. Because post game is hard. You know, right. The faith is inside. Go do what you came to do. Now this faith. Uh, I mentioned earlier about the money. Now, Yojimbo is a greedy, greedy Aeon. Uh, I don't think he wanted to be a Faith. I don't know. We're not going straight to the Chamber of the Faith, though. We're going to head left towards some question marks. Which actually leads to a nice little area where we can pick up some items. Uh, the Flexible Arm is a weapon for Riku. Which has four empty slots. So a very customizable weapon. Not that we can customize it just yet. We head right... There are some more items. Uh, I believe it's an MP sphere and some X potions. So there's our MP sphere and two X potions. There it is. So now we can head north into the Chamber of the Faith itself. Of course, I'm I, the important thing to do is to save. Okay, especially if you don't quite have the. the what, what are we gonna say? Two hundred and five grand. Mm. You need about two hundred thousand, roughly. Yeah. So here we go. He's greedy. He 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 won't fight for you unless you give him money. But thing. So we we'll see him now in a second. He'll start hovering above the faith. Keep your prayers. Show me the money. So here he comes. Now the important thing... He'll ask you a question first. The important thing is to say to defeat the most powerful foes. You gotta appeal to his ego, then to his greed. But we'll be haggling, and that's why we save. If you screw up the haggling, you're gonna put yourself really out of pocket here. 
They dare only whisper my name. Yojimbo. Yojimbo. Summoner, I ask you, what do you want of me? So, to defeat the most powerful of enemies. If you desire my strength, you must pay my price. And here we go. He's going to ask for 250 offer. grand. We're going to offer him 125,000 and one. All right? So 125,000 and one. 125,000 too low. So we go one. Here we go. 125,000 and one gil. Confirm. Make Do the offer. He drops to 225. We're going to offer a hundred and fifty thousand and two. Do we have a deal? It's down to two hundred and ten. And we're going to offer a hundred and seventy five thousand and three. Do we have a deal? Two hundred three thousand. It's not so bad. Now you could possibly get him down to about a hundred and Ninety-nine thousand. I'm not going to quibble over a small amount of gill and risk screwing it up, so I'm just going to pay him the two hundred three thousand. That's expensive. Adequate. You are my client. But worth it. Um, my just to have him. Really. You on your journey, he does have the most powerful move in the game called Zanmato, uh, which can kill any enemy, absolutely any enemy in the game, in one hit. But it's expensive. You know, your odds are higher the more money you pay him, the more you've used him already. And if he has his overdrive. And to get his overdrive up, obviously you can use Grand Summon, but otherwise you're going to have to summon him a bunch of times and pay him every time to get his overdrive to go up. So, you know. I don't think he's worth using. We did get him trophy for picking him up, which will go towards our platinum. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time.